Um, oh, oh, hello everybody. Why does this always happen? At least this time I can be proud of the bath that I'm washing in. See you in a second. Hello everybody and welcome back to Survival Challenge. Hopefully you're doing very well today. So, the field here is actually looking quite good. It is ready to harvest. It's a soybean field. Well, actually, the whole field is growing trees and a withered crop currently. But we just separated this piece here so that we could at least get something into the ground. Now, we do have weeds. We have some weeds. Uh, it doesn't appear to be fully infested, which is good. It'll be where I missed the areas because it was very hard to see exactly where we have and haven't been. But not to worry. We have covered the majority of the ground. It's not looking too bad. So we will harvest this today. But I must just say thank you, everybody, for your feedback in the previous episode. Absolutely fantastic. I essentially asked everybody what you think we should do uh, with the pig enclosure, the sheep enclosure, and the cow enclosure. Oh, and of course the port as well. And uh, well, it was, it was basically asking how much they should be worth. I had such a good response to that. So I'm going to choose the best prices out of my recommendations. I think everybody was really close anyway. So it's, it's just going to be a case of finding an average and going for it. Uh, it's probably like £50,000 for an area. But then with the port here, where we have the boats, uh, we can use boats for transporting grain and timber and stuff. We probably don't need to buy this. This was a, a recommendation from several viewers. It's probably a better idea just to rent it. When I say rent it, probably have a pay-as-you-go sort of thing. So you pay every time you use it. Somewhere between 200 and 500 pounds to use the boat once. I think probably 200 is more reasonable because um, yeah, it's it's pretty big. But if it was 500, we might struggle to make a profit. So 200 is pretty good. Uh, we could go 250. 250 is obviously half of 500. So that would probably be the most reasonable thing to do. But what we mustn't forget is we must also refuel it. We do have to pay for the fuel as well. Uh, so yes, this is going to be used. We'll say 250 plus the fuel. We have to pay for the fuel, and then we can transport wood to the sawmill in uh, in big loads. It's not necessarily faster, but we'll be able to take much more at a time, uh, and it does actually have its own sell point. I believe this is also the case as well for transporting grain. So uh, yeah, it's just going to be fantastic. So we will be using the boat very soon, but first of all. Let's go over to the store and pick up our trailed combine harvester. Now it is actually the same combine harvester that we used in uh, Vintage Survival, but that's because it's good. It's all we could afford, it's a bit of a lifesaver. The thing is though, as soon as we can afford it, we are going to replace it with a self-propelled harvester. But something that I do want to get first is the John Deere Swather, which was recently released on ModHub. Because it is very reasonably priced, and it will allow us to obviously work with grass, which can bring in a large amount of money, but we would have to pay for the silage pit first if we were going to do silage. So we're just going to have to hope that this is going to have enough power. I think it will do. The biggest issue might even be towing it back rather than harvesting in the field, because uh, we do have to go up some fairly steep slopes on this map going to be interesting to see. It has actually been quite some time since I last recorded an episode on here. For you, it would have been last weekend, but yeah, I recorded several episodes together and then I took a break because I've been working flat out for, well, probably two years without a break. So I took a, a pretty well-deserved break. Um, so yeah, it's been a few weeks since I've been on here. So I just need to get back into the rhythm, remembering where things are and <laughs> what we're actually doing. But yeah, once we get this soybean crop out of the way, we'll uh, we'll have the money to really start to do different things. But we mustn't forget the grass headland, which is around the field. The field I needs to be extended, or we need to actually cut that grass and use it. Now as for the grain, we shouldn't, well as for the beans I should say, there shouldn't be an issue with putting them into the trailer. The biggest problem is going to be the capacity of the trailer, so we'll have to just see exactly how many fit in there. 
but that is partly the reason why I went for the beans in the first place. So that we don't have a crop which yields massively. We want fewer beans, or fewer litres, and higher prices. Okay, so that does seem to be working quite well. I'm just trying to figure out how to lift the rail, but I don't think we can do. Might be wrong. And no, we don't have uh, straw me. We're not using straw me. I think it would probably make it too easy. Because at the end of the day, we do actually have a big field to start off with here. We just haven't been able to use it yet because it's full of trees. So I think as soon as we have got this out of the way, we want to cut those trees down. We want to put them into a trailer or something. Maybe just put them straight onto the barge. And then we can sell the barge over there to the sell point and make a ton of money. And if we can keep the trees fairly whole, that would be even better. Right, so this actually is yielding quite well. So it should do, because I have put a fair amount of effort into it. We kind of weeded it and uh, fertilised it. It's looking good. Uh, but yes, it won't be fast. It's obviously a small working width. And if you're new to the series and new to the map, you do start off with the field pre-withered. So it's not like I just forgot about it. This is a, a, a crop which is uh, already past its best. So you do have to plough it up. I guess I should have cut that tree down. I shouldn't have planted so close to it. But although the combine won't be full, I'm just going to unload when we get back to the trailer. Just to see what kind of an impact it has, but I'm guessing it's going to pretty much fill it. We may have to buy a new trailer. Easier said than done, since we don't have too much money. Oh, <laughs> and I have HUD hide on, so that needs to be turned off. There we go, good. Actually, diff lock is on too, so we'll turn that off. Hopefully we can do without. Ah, uh, just about reach. There we go. You wouldn't really expect too much to fit into here. I, I think it, it should really fill it. Of course I could just check and see what the capacity is, but... Yeah, that's pretty good. A thousand litres. I think we can probably live with that, it just depends how far it is to the cell point. Soybeans, okay. So we actually have quite a good selection. Boat unloading station one is the best, which is kind of typical. That is going to be here, quite a long way. So you could drive to there, I can imagine, uh, but it might not work with a tipping tree. You, know, you can't get in here, so you're going to have to bring the boat. That, if I'm not mistaken, is this boat here. We should be able to get into it. There we go. It does. Hello. Nice. Uh, so yeah, that is the grain boat. Again, a very nice feature. It is next door to this one. We'll just say 250 for both. It's going to be the easiest way. Um, but yeah, this is our farm silo as well. As you can see on the map. So we should just be able to tip into there. And then load it up into here. Pretty simple stuff. So I'm going to crack on. We'll get this done. Or we'll get some of it done. I can't guarantee we're going to finish it all by the end of the time lapse. Just because it is not a big machine. But at least we're not dealing with thousands and thousands of litres. Yet. Uh, that is <laughs> probably still to come. I'll see you in a second.
not too bad really. We have a full trailer and now we have a full harvester as well. So I'm just going to pop that there. Switch the engine off. I'll switch the PTO off and then head over to the trailer. And we can take this over to the port. So yeah, we'll just get everything ready. Fill the ship up in one go. I will just double check and make sure this is the best thing to do. Because if it's not the best thing to do, it isn't really worth spending £250. But yeah, it does. They both stand out quite a long way from the rest of them. Both in the thousands, so yeah, this is the best thing to do. So it is unfortunate that we don't have a bigger trailer, but it's just one of those things. We're going to have to work towards it. We can't just expect to have everything straight away. Just like the farm here, we don't have any of this. But I, again, must point out that uh, my viewers have left some very good comments. We do have straw, we have grain and feed and stuff. So when we do start to work on the different areas, we're not starting with absolutely nothing. We do have a few different things, a few things lying around. I think the reason why I didn't use the seed uh, was because it was actually out of our area. It's somewhere over here. So I did buy the seed. Okay, yeah, so we can only dream of buying this place. We need to get down to here. I think we just go the way which I didn't go. That makes it simple. Yeah, it's down by our storage sheds. Just to the left here. And then I think maybe down to the right. Here we go. So this takes us straight to the port which we don't have to own, we just have to have the money to use the ships. And of course, I mustn't forget to refuel them. I've been told that the ships are both very low on fuel. That would be something if I just get halfway there and run out of fuel. What a disaster that would be. Okay, the first 1,000 litres of soybeans. I'm guessing the reason why it's quite slow at emptying is because it would really be somebody with a spade, somebody with a shovel scooping it out. This is not a tipping trailer. So yeah, both boats are going to be used very soon. The grain one today, and the other one, probably in the next episode, because we've got so much wood. But even though we don't own the pasture here, for example, we're still around it and it still looks nice. Our farm does look pretty decent. It is decent. I think really what we start off with is already very generous, so it's great. Anyway, we must take another full trailer load because if we don't, we're just going to be messing around. Get it taken straight away. And I'll see you back over at the port. Okay, so there we go. So another 1,000 litres delivered. Back to the field. Let's finish the harvesting. Okay, so we are back at the field. The trailer is over there. I emptied the remaining amount into there. The remaining beans which are in the harvester. So with a bit of luck, we should have enough space here in the combine and in the trailer to finish the field. I don't think it's going to be an issue. We're only 30% full. So I did actually pre-order the collector's edition for FS22. I pre-ordered it a few weeks ago. Um, but yeah, I've ordered it from game. £65 in total. I think it was £59.99 plus shipping. So, I don't really know what you'd consider expensive for a collector's edition, because they're always expensive. Collector's editions are always on the pricey side of things. Um, I think actually they're usually over £100, so £59.99 isn't terrible. Um, but obviously, yes, you'd you'd, you'd want to have... You, you'd really want to have the stuff in the collector's edition to go for it. Otherwise, you might as well just buy the game. But I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to share with everybody the stuff that's inside it. We already know what's inside it. But it's a bit different seeing it on the internet and then obviously seeing the physical items... So it's going to be good, but it's not going to be until, I don't know, it's, it's released on the 22nd, but I think with 19, I had the collector's edition pre-ordered, 
and it actually came about four or five days after release. It was really slow, and that, that was probably just an issue with the people I brought it from, but yeah. Anyway, as soon as I get it in November, I'll be doing a video, an honest review, because it won't be sponsored, but I don't do many sponsored videos anyway. But that's why I like to buy stuff myself, because then you never feel like you're forced to say that something is good. I can really give my honest opinion. So, we'll just finish off here. And then, we can set sail. Okay, the final piece. So it's taken a bit of time, but that was obvious, it was going to be fairly slow. It's not a big machine. But I'm thinking, maybe, we should work towards getting some grass fields. Uh, we actually, although it would be a bit of a pain, we could turn all that area into grass. I don't really fancy cultivating and drilling around the trees. So this is going to be two trailer loads. Well, it's going to be one and a bit. But yeah, that swather, there's a John Deere swather, I think it'd be good. Good to get. So that is another 1,000 litres, and as usual, despite me thinking we can get all of this done and start doing some tree work, uh, we can't. It's just, everything always takes so much longer than I was expecting. But the good thing is we have all this wood here, and we actually do have quite a bit of wood just lying around the map. I keep calling it driftwood. That's good enough. It's everywhere. It's worth about £75 a piece. This is really steep. I'm pleased that we don't have to pull the trailer up here because it would be... Well, actually I don't know if this tractor could do it because it struggles with an empty trailer. But it is a good tractor. But that is also very steep, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, you need a bit of power to get up there. Okay. So, if, if I'm not mistaken, this should be the 3,000 mark. Let's just see here. Yes, well, it's going to be 3,000 when it's empty. So, in total from this field, we have generated probably 3,500 litres of soybeans, which really is going to equate to maybe 5,000 pounds. See what I mean? It's empty, but... We're pushing two miles per hour. It's not really the tractor's fault. This is extremely steep. <laughs> well, it's nobody's fault. It's just the way the land was formed. And by the way, that is the silage pit. I probably have shown it before. But if we do start to do some grass work fairly soon, we are going to have to buy it. I think there was a good suggestion to have £10,000 put on that. That would be the price tag. I think that's pretty reasonable. We want to have realistic prices. We don't want it to be impossible, because otherwise <laughs> we're never going to progress. Okay, so what's it going to be? 200 litres? Looking good. 435. Very nice. I mustn't forget to pay for the ship afterwards. I'm not actually going to set a rule as to whether we pay before we use it or afterwards. It doesn't really matter, as long as we pay. Okay. And yeah, I don't think we need to keep any of the soybeans. We're not going to be doing any animal work just yet. So let me just figure things out. I've never actually done this before. Never used the boats. So we have, we do have some fuel. We have half a tank. I don't know how long it's going to last. Maybe the comments were referring to this one over here. Or maybe the fuel consumption is really high. Oh yeah, that one's almost empty. So it might be okay. We may not have to refuel this one over here. That'd be good. But obviously we're going to have to refuel this at some point. Right, so we mustn't forget to load it up. 
Can you imagine going all the way over there and then forgetting to load the cargo? 1%. Yes, yeah, clearly, as it is a ship, it is designed to carry huge quantities. Oh well. We're using it in this way. It's still going to be profitable. Look at me. I'm sailing. Very good. I'm actually quite proud that we're doing this now. <laughs> it was only 250 though. Um, I am easily impressed though. Ah, yes, of course. If I go this way, does that mean that we can actually get over? Because I know we've got the shallow area where we cross. Uh, hopefully we can go north of that. We will be quite close to the edge of the map. Um, anyway, I'm just a, a fool not knowing what I'm doing. So it could be entertaining. And yeah, it is actually 300 litres an hour consumption. I think we should have refueled. That's quite a lot of fuel usage. And I've already wasted... Oh, I'm just wasting money here. Back to port. The oaf who is captain on this thing doesn't know what he's doing. Probably going to run aground next. Ooh. Run aground cam. Only to be used by fools. Like me. Well, here we are. We're back. Probably going to crash next. Handbrake turn it in. There we go. And uh, actually, yeah, how do I refuel it? I know that the refueling point is close to here. I was doing something. I, I've already done it. There we go. Looking at completely the wrong thing. I was looking at the service bar. Could this get any more embarrassing? Good, so we have a full tank. We should be able to do it. Providing we can go north. I get viewers sometimes saying, why don't you read some guides or something so that you know what you're doing? I like to try and figure stuff out for myself. Bit of trial and error. It's always entertaining. Are there any drinks on this vessel? Could have a party. Ah, oh, it can be the party boat. It's a bit run down to be a party boat, but anyway. We have our precious cargo. Now, as I mentioned, uh, we're going to have to go under this bridge. There probably is a faster way to go. But I'm just trying to work it out. Yes, I don't think we can cross in the centre, but we'll see. Okay, well here we are. This is Boat Unloading Station 1. Not the place we want to be. I didn't realise it was actually so built up around here with all the, the ships, all the cargo ships. It looks fantastic. It really has been well done. Amazing. We'll be back here when they're offering the better price, but currently the best price is over at the uh, where the sawmill is. So that's where we're unloading, but yes, this is fantastic. Really, really good. And I knew not to cross the other way because that is where we were driving. And we have the markers showing us not to go there. But yeah, the water isn't too deep. We'll just keep sailing until we get to unloading station two. This map is like a mix-up of farming simulator and ship simulator. Imagine if you're a huge fan of both of those. Here we are, 
So they're currently offering a very good price, it's still increasing. £1,301 for a thousand litres. Very good. It is the far crane over there. At the moment I still don't know how to actually set this, but I'm sure it's going to become very self-explanatory. I just need to aim for the right place. So, oh no, 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 oh no, my ship. I've teleported, oh no. I meant to tag it, not visit it. <laughs> I'm actually not intending to turn this into a comedy. It's just natural. Right. Captain fell off his ship. Everything's going well. There we go. Good. So, yeah, I think if we uh, moor up over here. Might have to go in reverse. Don't know. There we go. Brilliant. So here we go. Time to sell. £4,484 minus 250 Still good. 4663 So we could leave the ship here. We don't actually have to take it back. But I think it would be silly not to. So we will take it back. Uh, but yeah, really happy that we've been able to do that today. And some of you may be thinking, oh, that's, absor that's just terrible. Why do you even bother? Uh, we're playing on hard difficulty. And if you think about the size of the field, it was tiny. So it's just the way it is. But since we have all the wood growing in the same field, we should be able to make a fortune out of that. If we load all those trees onto the other ship and, and take it over here, just think what we could actually make. It's going to be good. Here we are, at the end of the day, 16.25, usually I play at times 15, today we've had to have it a bit lower at times just because we've been so slow, uh, but yeah, it's good. So I think I should really have the pipe over the uh, compartment, this should be okay, nice blue water here, there we go. Just reversing. <laughs> Fantastic. Certainly something different. So, we're going to leave it there. But tomorrow, we should make even more money. That is the plan. As I've mentioned many times in this video already, the John Deere Swather is something I'm considering. Uh, we do have a grass headland on the field, and we might even drill grass in the field we've just been working in. We'll see. But until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.